Hey, good morning. It's our, no, sorry, it's actually like 1 p.m. Good afternoon to you. It is 30, uh, 32 degrees outside. I can't believe how fast it moves into harsh winter here. Uh, it just surprises me continually. Anywho, I'm outside. I'm trying to sort of just continue with the, the cleaning up, the clutter that's been created over this past year. I'm trying to make sure that my spring cleaning season come spring isn't a nightmare. And, uh, you know, I have the the clothes and such to be out here in this weather, so it's just a matter of getting out here, layering up and getting to work pretty soon. If you've ever worn lots of snowsuits and stuff, you'll start shedding layers in the snow because it just traps all your body heat. You get really hot quick. So I'm just uh, going to try to work on this little triangle area behind me here. There's a lot of just random stuff. Eventually what I want to have here is uh, one of the Polonia elongata trees. Just like, boom, 80 feet tall. Giant marker right here as you drive around it. Maybe put a picnic table in the future or something like that. It's, uh, it's thinking way in the future, but you know, it's how you design stuff for long term. I hope uh, wherever you're at is nice and warm and toasty and you're able to get something done or just relax you know where my family's at it's still like 80 90 degrees poor souls one thing that's nice about this time of year is uh the way tumbleweeds work is they dry up have a really shallow taproot system and then they're allowed to be pulled up by the wind because they have such a huge bushiness it just overcomes the tap system but any who's this is a great time to come back and kick out all the ones that you missed before so you can just come in here like this, give it a few jiggles, and it just pops right up. And then the wind will come and take it away and make a million more for me to deal with next year. I've uh, dealt with a lot of overwhelming projects over the years, and most of them, you know, you back yourself into the corner. But one of the things I've learned is break it into small pieces, like a puzzle. Um, first thing is all the wood pieces got tossed out now I'm dealing with the stones I know I want to put a tree in and so I've marked kind of where I want it to go roughly here in the middle and I'm just gonna start piling the stones up there's also a lot of tires and tools and other things so I've started making a pile of the tools on that pallet that one needs to go on the pallet found a few screwdriver and stuff put them in the bucket on the pallet Farm and tractor implements will go over by the farm and tractor implements. And then I'm just kind of taking the tires for now and just moving them over here and stacking them. Shoot, maybe I'll just put some strawberries here or something, whatever. The main thing is it's all centralized and doesn't look like scattered all over the place. Paint them a color, plant something in it, will be good as new. Never have to move the tires. The next thing that's important for me anyway is uh, when you're out here working to better your situation in the yard or how anything looks and it's overwhelming in a lot of space, you'll just want to sit there and keep on going next step, next step, next step and then next thing you know you're out of breath and you're not having a good time and you're annoyed and that's when you just need to take a moment, look around you, appreciate life for a second say like ah it can look nice and beautiful like pristine nature i never touched it again <laughs> and then get back to it that's pretty much all i got energy for this morning but it's looking a lot better if i can just get out here and spend an hour every day in the high sun where it's nice and warm <laughs> during the winter i should have this place looking a little more respectable by spring future home of the tree that one's totally dead I'm pulling that one down Whew, man what I said is true I pretty much feel like I'm needing to shed the outer shell here Nothing really much going on. It is ice cold. I only have a few hours when I can do stuff. So I'm debating 
whether or not to break for lunch or to keep on going. My body's telling me to break for lunch, so I think I'll listen to it, but sometimes you push through and ignore it. <sighs> I hope you all have a wonderful week. Tomorrow's Thursday. That means the week's more than half over. Talk to you soon. Here, use this instead. That's enough, thank you. You got it, my girl. You got it. Are you stuck? Um. Oh, okay. Daddy? Oh, I can't sit there. I'm sorry, I'm too giant. Once we get it installed, though, I'll swing with you, okay? It'll be able to handle me swinging. Look at these bars right here. Oh, yeah. She'll play later. Happy Monday to you. Awesome neighbor Larry said uh, he picked up a trailer for a hundred bucks and got a whole bunch of like scrap metal with it, which happened to include a porch swing frame. He said he got it for Rebecca. And we're putting it to use. What other silly faces can you make? I'll be right back. She's turning on the generator, sweetie pie. Mama? Mama? Uh, Mama? <laughs> Mama? Mama? Pa? Pa? E? Pa? Daddy? That's me. Oh, the generator's on. I hear it. You hear the generator? That means the fan's going to turn on in a minute. Mama! <gasps> Mama! Here we go. Look, the room's inflating again. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, that's mama. <laughs>